South Korea's top nuclear envoy held talks on Thursday with his Russian counterpart in Moscow, asking for that country's cooperation in resuming, trying to at least, dialogue with the North. Seoul's envoy also said the Russian government showed support for the end of war declaration as recently proposed by President Moon Jae-in. Our Pei eun reports. At a meeting in Moscow between South Korea's chief nuclear envoy Do Gyu-dok and his Russian counterpart Igor Margulov, the two envoys discussed ways to restart the peace process on the Korean peninsula. Seoul's foreign ministry said Do called for Russia's support, while emphasizing the need to stably manage the situation and the importance of resuming dialogue with the North. Margulov acknowledged South Korea's recent efforts to move forward with the peace process and reaffirmed Russia's commitment to play a constructive role. Thursday's talks are their second face-to-face -face meeting this year, after Margulov visited Seoul in August. Do told reporters in Moscow that the Russian government shows support for the end-of-war declaration to build trust with the North. A formal end to the Korean War was proposed by South Korean President Moon Jae-in during a speech at the UN General Assembly. Do added that South Korea is speeding up its efforts to have talks with the U.S., and that it's also currently having discussions with other countries, including China. Meanwhile, Kyoto News reported on Thursday that there is a possibility that the top nuclear envoys of South Korea, the U.S., and Japan could meet next week in Washington, D.C. It's said the meeting will likely be on ways to improve trilateral cooperation as Pyongyang continues to test fire missiles. The three envoys last met on September 14th in Tokyo. Pei Eunji, Arirang News.